yeah. French Kiwi oh, baby. Juice, oh, one of my favorite oh, tracks. Baby. Yeah. Oh, baby. Uh. Yeah. Been chilling under the tree for some time now. Baby. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're new to sustainable living, it can feel very overwhelming. I know that when I made the decision to be more environmentally friendly, I fell completely out of whack. I didn't know where to start. There was so much information, and a lot of it was quite terrifying, actually. And I thought, right, well, I have to be 100% vegan, zero waste, plastic free, emission free, fun free, life free. I basically thought I would just have to sit at home with the heating off, not running any water and just breathe. But even that felt wasteful. We know we need to make drastic change, but it's impossible to be 100% perfect. The Western world is just not allowing us to live that way in this current climate. I'm a big believer in small steps have a really, really big impact. And that's how I've kind of managed to get myself in a place where I feel like I've still got improvements to make for sure, but I'm living a lot more sustainably than I was even a month ago, definitely six months ago and 100% a year ago. My hope is that this video will help give you a few little nuggets to become more sustainable in your own everyday life. I am delighted to be partnering with B Corp on this video. Now B Corp is something that kept popping up. Lots of companies that were asking to be interviewed for my podcast or I was interviewing for events and panels and things that I was doing, they'd say, oh, we're a B Corp. And I was like, great, B Corp sounds wonderful, but what is it? And after doing some research, I thought, wow, this is really, really cool. B Corps are a new kind of business and they're trying to do things in an ethical, sustainable and environmentally friendly way. They also aim to be transparent with their customer. That makes sense to me and you, right? Like, of course, but this isn't how businesses have been running up until very recently. So I thought the best way for me to communicate B Corp's message with you would be to just kind of go around my everyday life when I'm just working at home. Now, you know that I'm a big believer in consciously consuming. So I'm only gonna be showing you brands that I absolutely adore, all that I've used for years, all that I'm just really excited about. I'm so fortunate to have the time and the money to think about the food on my plate, the tea bag in my drink, and the clothes on my back. But I really believe that we can all make small positive changes every single day in order to keep this planet alive for a little bit longer. Now, if there's one health fact that no one can dispute, it's that water is really, really good for you. However, at this time of year, I find it really, really, really tricky to drink lots of water. Instead, I opt for herbal teas. Now, I allow myself one or two caffeinated teas a day. I have to be careful about my caffeine consumption just because I'm prone to anxiety and caffeine can make me a little bit jittery. But I absolutely love drinking herbal teas. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know how much I absolutely adore pucker teas. Now, recently, there has been a lot of backlash against tea bags. I, for one, did not realize that there was plastic in tea bags, so I had to make a few changes. Now, I've always used pucker, but when I learned that they were plastic-free, I started using them even more. I switched out a couple of my teas in favor of pucker. I also love loose leaf tea, but obviously, that's not as convenient or as quick for a busy lifestyle, so I often have pucker teas. They were the first tea company to introduce completely recyclable envelopes for their tea bags. And they also want to make sure that by 2030, they're carbon zero. So they're constantly making small progressive changes. In fact, quite big in their case. I'm currently drinking a Tulsi tea, which you may have heard me talk about rather a lot. It's one of my favorites because it's decaffeinated, but you can have it with a little bit of milk if you fancy. And yeah, it just tastes delicious. I'm sure there are amazing healing properties in it as well, but I'm all about taste as you well know. One little change that I've made over the past six months is that I got a food waste bin. Now, this isn't something that my local council provided. So I was just throwing all of my food scraps into the bin and they were just ending up as landfill, which was a pretty terrifying thought because I do a lot of cooking and that goes for tea bags as well. I would just throw the tea bags in the same bin as my usual kind of waste bin. So I emailed my local council and said, hey guys, 
I want to make a little change. Can I have a food waste bin, please? And they pulled through. So they provided a small caddy for me and then a big one for the building. And once a week, our food waste is picked up, which is absolutely awesome. If you have a compost in your own garden, I'm jealous. Make use of it. It's so important that we should be putting our food scraps back into the soil. Right, I never thought I'd be filming my washing machine but here we are this is a little sustainable change that i've been making i have used the ecova products for the longest time just because they remind me of my mum because she's always used them one of the reasons why these guys are great is because they have moved to 100 percent pcr recycled packaging but the reason why i love them so much is because you can refill an ecova product and it is the easiest thing to do and i actually filmed how i did that for my washing up liquid the other day so i will show that to you here i've just come on the ecova website and it says refill not landfill and I just Googled how do I refill my Ecova. And what you do is you put in your postcode and then it will find the nearest one to you. Excuse me, do you do refills of Ecova yeah. here? Just what I came here to do. And that's the blues. That was very easy. The nearest refill place was 0.01 miles away. So I just walked straight in, refilled, came out. Simple, genuinely really easy. Why haven't I been doing that for longer? You still rap my town and rap that you And I know that you like it and I'm hoping I can stay. Whether or not I'm in the light, yeah, I still like it in the shade. All the leaves cover me and it's black and out the sun. But I shout with my town, miss, yeah, and I will call you. Now something I do rather a lot is washing up because I cook a lot. And I don't have a dishwasher, so I use this Ecova washing up liquid. And about six months ago, I made the change to these little coconut scrubs, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And it's such a little thing and something that I kind of really thought about when I was little, but I only have the tap running when you really need the water. And I feel so basic for saying that, but I used to just leave it running when actually, we should kind of value the water that we have if we're lucky enough to have running water. So I kind of only keep it running when I really, really need it. Oh, I still do just what I came here to do. And that's the blues, that shit on cue. Still rap my town and rap that fuel. And I know that you like it and I'm hoping I can stay. While we're here, I don't buy water from plastic bottles. Instead, I have a jug which I fill up with London tap water and then I have a charcoal stick which I've actually just cleaned. I clean this once a month and then after four months I put it in my food waste bin and that basically takes out any of the impurities from the water. I need to pee so I thought I should tell you about the change that I've made in my uh, wiping situation. Not something I ever thought I would be talking about on the internet because I genuinely didn't think that there would be a kind of environmentally friendly way uh, to make that change in your bathroom habits. But lo and behold, there is. This is an awesome company called Who Gives a Crap, which I absolutely love. Apart from the incredible packaging, the reason why these toilet rolls are such a good alternative is because they are made of 100% recycled materials. There's also no dyes or anything inky that wouldn't be good for your nether regions which i didn't even consider but i absolutely love this brand i'm never looking back you can order them in kind of huge vast boxes they donate 50 percent of the profits to actually building toilets for those in need i can feel better about wiping my ass great i wanted to share an updated version of my favorite snack with you now this is using divine chocolate divine chocolate is such a good brand if you're looking to be more sustainable. Both the wrapper inside, which looks just like normal plastic, and the packet itself is biodegradable, so that's awesome. And they're also the only chocolate company that are fair trade and who are also co-owned by their workers. So I've got some divine chocolate here, which I've just chopped up. So I'm just gonna melt this down really quickly and then I'll be back. I am using non sulfured apricots. Now these are my absolute favorites. I just pick these up from my local zero waste store. And then I just get a little knife 
and half them like a little clam and then I've got some nut butter here which I actually did as a refill the other day and you want to take a little amount and pop it in like so and now I'm just going to dip these guys in the chocolate pop them in the fridge to harden up and then you have a healthy snack to go whenever you want it love me some chocolate I had a little bit of leftover chocolate so I've just put that in a silicone case. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of nut butter. Pop the rest on top. Time for the best bit. Just got this out of the freezer. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave me a comment down below and let me know what small change you're working on at the moment in order to be more sustainable. I would absolutely love to hear from you. Please do subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you back each and every week and I will see you very soon. Bye. Yeah. I'll get my one day, two day, might just be the day. Well, I'll be least